come up, launch over this entire thing. to get a session in and this is a place that I've been to before but I've seen that they've added some new features so I wanted to come back and check it out and give it a run I'm 100% honest with you guys. I forgot to put on the deodorant this morning and it isn't the most pleasant thing. <laughs> oh, what a start. Let me go back up and clean that. this out so we made it to the jump line and i gotta say man that the people in this area have a lot of creativity i mean you got a huge gap right here picnic table in the middle the jump off this is pretty solid i think if you get your speed right you're golden you got a nice big landing over here and then to the left you got an awesome like whale tail Boom, boom. And just what, when I thought there couldn't be more, there's more. Dude, something tells me that these guys work in construction or have worked in construction because the build quality on these things is insane. Look at this thing. That is so epic. And then it continues on this way. It's like a skinny. And it looks like there's something up there. I don't even know where to begin. Everything is just so like overwhelming. You got so much to hit. It's like, where do you start? Well, I want to do a uh, ladies only. So I think we're going to start with that. And then I'll come and scope this out after. So I've only been here twice. And the second time I didn't really get to hit it because the builders are still building.
so rad. You know what's crazy that when I used to ride BMX, it was always like street riding and hitting up street spots. I rarely rode skate parks unless like a big group of us wanted to go ride one. But for the most part, it was just like street riding. And when you're hitting a jump on a BMX bike, you really have to bunny hop like hard to get over stuff, right? Like you need to make sure you're gonna clear it and you tuck as well really hard. But when you're hitting dirt jumps on a mountain bike, you honestly don't even need a lift that much. Like you need to get a hop in, but you don't need a tuck as hard as you can. The more important thing I've realized with jumping, is just getting comfortable with speed because you don't want to undershoot, you don't want to overshoot, and gauging that speed is kind of the more difficult part. It's not necessarily the hopping part, at least for me. But uh, I want to go back up and give that another run as I was climbing up I saw this feature to the right of me <laughs> it looks pretty epic so you can either come up launch over this entire thing which I would say is about like 15 20 feet no I would say like 15 15 feet and then you can land over there or you can just cruise over it and drop back in kind of want to mess around more with this jump line and then we'll do some more exploring second jump was a little more sketchy just because I was a little nose heavy. One thing I really want to work on on my jumps it's trying to lean more back as I land so I land rather than both tires at the same time land back tire then front tire I've kind of built a habit of landing both tires heavy and now it's just trying to break that habit and I'm not talking about landing real heavy on my rear tire you know just a gradual like boom, boom. so that way it's an easier uh, easier landing less impact Found this bag this right here, and you try to do as much as you can. You know, keeping this place clean. Try to help just by picking up the scraps. I don't even need a bell, I'll just ride with a bag full of recycling. And that'll be my bell. I really wanted to stop and ride that teeter-totter, so I think I'm gonna make my way down to that little section. Now we can ride the skinny. Let's see if we can get this first try. Okay. Okay. That is so sketchy. I wanted to ride this whale tail as well. <laughs> Sketch. 
Well, I got the skinny first try, so that's cool. But the whale tail, I think I needed a little bit more speed. Let's get round two. Hopefully with a little more speed. <laughs> you definitely gotta hit that fast. I thought maybe I could hold it and try to wait till it teeters, but that did not work out. All right, third time's a charm. This is a lot harder than it looks, or than I anticipated, because you need speed on that teeter totter, but it's hard to get it on this skinny. Move. This whale tail. <laughs> I'll take it. Let's get this trash. That's all I can fit, I think, in this bag. This heat's kicking my butt, and then I gotta carry this out, so gotta keep it moving. <laughs> I forgot I had the trash in my bag. Back. I always struggle to get this thing like locked in. I definitely think it was a good call to start as early as I did because it's barely like 10 o'clock and you can feel it. So the early morning sessions nowadays are the move just because of the heat. I've hit this trail before, but it's been a while since I've been here. The first time that I actually discovered this, this spot was the day after I got my cast off when I fractured my wrist and then I came to this area and I just went searching. I went on an adventure, I went scouting and I was just using that day as a way to discover something new because I really couldn't ride after my injury. So I used it as a, a day to scout and I came across that. And today I had in mind of hitting that, that first big gap, I believe it's like 24 feet. And then I wanted to hit the picnic table gap and I crossed those two off my, off my list so I'm stoked on that. Again, I can't give the location of this trail either uh, out of respect for the trail builders. I hope you guys understand. It's one of those things, again, if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. And it's not me trying to be a jerk. Like, I just wanna make sure this, this place doesn't get put on blast, that's all. But I gotta give it to them, man. I think SoCal has some of the craziest trails and the people in this community of the, the mountain biking community is just insane how creative they can be how creative they can get it's just it's wild now it's time to go home get showered like i said earlier i didn't put on any deodorant so i am uh i'm pretty stinky man and just drenched that's all sweat i don't know if you can tell like my whole shirt's supposed to be like a light red it's a dark red right now i hope you guys enjoyed that is gonna wrap up this ride I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.